Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to do a video of a comment that I got. Um, I just, I think it's so apt to one form of stopping drinking alcohol and that's to try and lighten up as much as you can and have a sense of humour. Um, you know, oftentimes it's a battle to try and not be a victim, right? A victim of yourself more than anything else, you know, to try and get away from that idea that, um, you know, feeling sorry for yourself, you know, sometimes you just have to try and try and do your best to look at the humor in the situation, right? And there is always humor to, to find if you're looking for it. And most people are not looking for it. But anyway, this is the, the comment that I got this morning. It's a bit of a long one, but you know, we'll go into it. I was listening to the part. Uh, this is from a video uh, that we did um, on a simple tip to get over the holiday season. So just something uh, we were talking about um, just thinking about things, adjusting to what you're thinking of, and, and then um, coping with the rest of things that, that happen to you. And it's that coping part of it, I think, that is, um, yeah, it's first of all thinking about things, and you're 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 thinking about how you can how you can re see these things in your head, how you can uh, look at it through a different framework, then adjust your. Um, adjust your actions, adjust your, your following thinking to that new framework and then coping with what you're left with, you know, one of the best coping skills that you can have is comedy. So this was uh, a comment he was making on that subject. So I was listening to the part where I'm sober, surrounded by my family, um, my family members, my mates, and they were all intoxicated. The main feeling would be homicidal, to be perfectly honest. Nothing more nagging than having people, having to deal with people drunken around you. Everything sounds empty, shallow, sarcastic, downright lobotomized. I swear I've based on, open quote, fuck's sake. If this is who I am when I'm on the lash with all these morons, is this who I am when I'm on the lash with all these morons? I've thought that on many occasions. Um, come next day, I was much more motivated to do everything within my reach, not to go get that first couple of cans or the pints in the morning. Right. So you know, he's basically saying that, that you know, looking at other people's behaviour, thinking, is this the the behaviour that I'm doing when I'm when I'm drinking? How many times have I done that in the past? You know, um, this might sound pathetic, but one godsend that I've had this season is that for some reason, alcohol, and he puts in quotes, particularly red wine, go figure, uh, it's the additives or the sulfites, has triggered a huge hemorrhoid crisis which will last this whole period, I'm certain of it. If that is not the perfect excuse to turn down drinks and simply fade off into the situation, I don't know what is. Now, I, I, I've got a sort of a, a really childish sense of humor, so that, I just, it struck me as, as being, um, a funny way of looking at things. Hemorrhoids always makes me laugh anyway. You know? um, my dad had hemorrhoids and every time he talked about it, uh, he used to put, put us into stitches. But um, I think it's, 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 in, it's an important part of this journey to get annoyed and to get frustrated, um, to get even angry at people around you who are drinking because it, especially when you're putting yourself into that situation, um, you're saying to yourself, is this the way that I, I acted or I reacted or is this the kind of nonsense that I was talking? And it's only when you do that and you start to see the the downside of drinking, you start to put your behavior in the context of uh, what it was really like and not what you um, have been deluding yourself to, to think of. You know, we always say that if, when you're drinking alcohol, you it, you go onto a, a process of stupefaction. It doesn't, not just because you're drinking in that moment, but over time, your level becomes uh, more stupefied. You, it, it turns you into, uh, it turns you into a moron, basically. Um, you know, a moron based around what what you're capable of. You know, in in context to you, right? So in the context of what you would have been capable of if you didn't drink, if you applied yourself in a different way. We've got time and energy. Uh, those are the two biggest uh, things that you have in life, the biggest currencies that you've got to spend. Your time you're never getting back, right? The energy that you spent, you're never getting back. Hopefully the next day you create more energy for yourself, but how you use those things, you've, it's limited. So how you use your time and how you use your energy, not only in that moment, but 
it, in the consequences of what you're doing. So it's all about trade-offs. It's all about doing something and then the trade-offs of that, you know, what you're trading off. Um, oftentimes you don't see this until you get to the other side of it. Uh, and then you start to look at, well, um, this is what I'm doing now without alcohol. You know, it's one of the biggest regrets and I think it's one of the biggest, um, the things that gets people down after they stop drinking alcohol is they realize how much more they're capable of, how much more they're, they're achieving now that they stopped drinking alcohol and how much they could have done, where they could have been right now if they'd never drank or if they'd stopped drinking sooner. You know, that's one of the biggest downers about stopping drinking alcohol. But the, the way I always look at that is you have to look at, well, I'm glad I did. I stopped when I did because if I didn't, where would I be now, right? So that's one of the ways of doing it. Um, it's always about trying to look at yourself through that same lens, um, you know, trying to look at yourself through the lens that you're looking at other people. Now, when they're going through their drunken antics and thinking to yourself, you know, al allowing that to sink into um, you as a person, is this who you allowed yourself to be? Was you know, It's all about choices, it's all about trade-offs, it's all about, um, you know, the, the things that, that you control in your life, what you put into your mouth, you can control that, you know. You know, this is a, it's a perfect example of creating barriers for yourself to going back to your old life or um, creating roadblocks that are stopping you, or are opening your mind to seeing your, your old self in a certain way. Um, that opens your life to moving forward in a certain way, right? So this guy, you know, I've never heard of somebody using hemorrhoids as an excuse to stop drinking alcohol that's a first for me right um but you know it's whatever works for you it's whatever works for you whatever works you know it might only help you for a week or two weeks or whatever it is but like i said there's a certain humor in it as well you know there's a certain humor about looking at life about looking at the other people in your life this there's, there's a certain when i'm with family and i know where as i'm recording this we're going up to my family at christmas and um, there's going to be drinking there and there's going to be fun you see a certain amount of fun when people are getting drunk and they're loosening up and you know they're, they're, they're saying things that they wouldn't otherwise be saying but then there always comes a point where the conversation starts to dip and be, people don't generally say a lot of nasty things to each other but it's just um, it becomes it gets to a certain moronic level that I don't want to listen to it anymore, right? And not just because um, I don't want to see my family in that way, but you know, yeah, it's just it's not it's not a nice thing for me to do. I don't like doing that anymore. Um, I don't like uh, putting myself into that old position and, and remembering what I used to be like. And I did that for thirty years, you know, and and didn't think about it. So you know, think about putting barriers behind you, putting roadblocks behind you from that prevent you from moving backwards and lifting roadblocks in front of you lifting the barriers in front of you that are preventing you from moving forwards you know one of those barriers is taking yourself too seriously you know taking life too seriously you know move on and say to yourself well look you know this is you know, this is something that I've done in the past uh, wasn't the smartest thing that I did you know I did it for 30 years, so that definitely wasn't the smartest thing that I did. Always reminds me of the um, George W. Bush quote where he said, fool me once and he got it all wrong, uh, you know, but we're fooled over and over and over again by this kind of stuff. I think Bush was one of those people that stopped drinking alcohol actually. Um, so I think it's important in the early days to try and find as much motivation as you can. You'll find a lot of more motivation just by looking at, um, looking at things in, in a, in a funny way, you know, trying to, as I say, not take yourself too seriously. Just find the momentum to move yourself a day forward or a week forward or a month forward. And gradually you will find as you're, you know, stop the flow, do the work, uh, move on. And part of that, doing that work is just coping with things, you know, and the best coping strategy is to uh, have humor. Look at life through humor. Look at yourself through humor, you know. Um, look at the things that you've done in the past through humor you know it's much better to look at y your own past in a humorous way and to go well you know especially when you're not doing it anymore than to look at it like you're beating yourself up because the the, le the more you become a victim the more that you want to um, 
drown yourself out from those thoughts so um, yeah it's uh, the more you can do this the more the, the further forward you get in this journey the easier you will find it to have uh, momentum uh, you know think about the snowball going down the hill it, it just gathers and gathers more snow as it's going along and that's what you will find you will find momentum in in uh, in this journey so keep the alcohol out of your mouth um, have a have a lovely Christmas if you're watching this before Christmas I'm not sure when we're posting this actually um, um, take care of yourself if you've got any questions at all if you have any funny stories about sobriety I don't want to hear any fu funny stories about drunkenness we don't do those here but any funny stories or any ways that you found that that you are coping with life any positive stories about that then i'd love to hear them and we'll do it we'll do a video on them because the the more positivity you can bring into this journey the better we've got four p's in uh, habits v2 that we use we've got positivity we've got perseverance we've got patience and we've got perspective and it's in you know these all connect to each other you know you have patience with yourself uh, you're likely to have much more patience with yourself if you can be positive, right? You, you're likely to have a much better perspective about what you're looking uh, at in the future if you can be positive. You know, think about when you when you think about yourself in uh, in future years, it, when you're in a negative mood, it's very difficult to think about your future self in a positive light. But when you look at your future self in a positive mood, when you're happy, it's very easy to look at that in a uh, to look at yourself in a positive light, right? So, um, it's just a few tips and tricks. Um, so, if you've got any questions, if you've got any any comments at all about that kind of stuff, I'd love to hear them. Uh, take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Bye now.